Welcome back guys. <laughs> Today I'm taking a look at the uh, final release of LXLE 16.04.2. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if you remember, uh, a week or two ago I reviewed the release candidate and everything looked good. Well, I'm happy to announce that uh, everything is absolutely top-notch and perfect on this final release. I haven't found any issues whatsoever. I went through the uh, driver manager which had been a problem in the past and that is no longer a problem. Uh, the install takes care of the Linux headers uh, right out of the box and so the driver manager functions perfectly. So let's take a little bit of a look around. Now uh, the top panel has a few uh, applications. You go to terminal and then you can change your wallpaper and the file file manager actually opens up it's really places it opens up all your different file locations and then you can choose to open which one you'd like now you can also add uh, icons to the desktop I've got trash documents and um, mounted volumes but if you have documents mounted then that will open up a conventional finder window <clears throat> and you'll have everything listed up in the uh, in the center of uh, the top panel you can see there is a, a, a clock date day time and also weather so there is a weather module there and if you click on it it will open up your weather forecast for your particular area in the top right there is a RAM usage graph, also a CPU usage, and then you've got your Wi-Fi Ethernet indicator and your volume. In the bottom, you have open windows on the bottom panel, then you've got your workspaces, and then you have, yeah, and that's, that's basically open uh, applications. And then also in the in the bottom left, you see this little plus sign? That will let you add applications to the panel. So you can you can add launchers to the panel. Now you can also add additional launchers in the top panel. If you just right click on the terminal, for example, go to application launch bar settings, and then you can add anything that's in your menu. So for example, if I want to add leaf pad, I just highlight leaf pad and add it. If I want to add calculator, highlight it and add it. As you can see, they added to the top panel. Very nice, very easy. Now if, you, uh, if you're a fan of Lubuntu and you like the LXDE desktop environment, LXLE is LXDE or Lubuntu on steroids. It has everything that you need, everything that Lubuntu comes with, and also other options that are uh, unique to LXLE. So let's take a look at the menu and we'll see if we can highlight some of those. If I click on the LXDE icon, you can see under accessories there are lots of things that don't normally come out of the box. So you've got your standards like file manager, calculator, but you've got LXLE help. And that'll open up the LXLE. Um, basically, it's a wiki page where you can get all kinds of information on LXLE. Paper rotator. Uh, random wallpaper, the weather app. If we go into audio video, now I installed GUVC View, OpenShot, Simple Screen Recorder, and SM Player. Everything else was installed out of the box. Audacity comes installed. MPV Media Player comes installed. For education, there's Granule, LibreOffice Math, and Marble. 
for games, you've got a lot of um, older type games, very uh, low resource, not CPU intensive. These are basically um, the old school type of games that a lot of people actually enjoy. For graphics, you've got a document viewer for your PDFs, font manager, there's GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, Mirage, Photo Print, Shotwell, Simple Image Reducer, and Symbol Scan. Now, a lot of these don't normally come pre installed, but they are with LXLE. For internet, it does come with Mozilla, SeaMonkey. Uh, as the default browser. I have installed Google Chrome, but there are lots of other uh, applications available. Chatzilla, Fire FTP, Gitso, Linphone, there's a mail reader, Pigeon, Sync Thing, GTK, Transmission, and UGET. For Office, it's LibreOffice, but there's also HomeBank, which is a financial management application. Now for for your control menu, you've got it broken down in categories. You've got Easy Stroke, Gesture Recognition, Exposé, Florence Virtual Keyboard. So you've got lots of uh, access type programs. For hardware, Bluetooth, Brightness Controller, Driver Manager, which as I mentioned, function perfectly. Monitor settings, network, network connections, everything works fine. They're all installed out of the box. For security, you've got a firewall, log viewer, passwords and keys, uh, users and groups, activity log manager, penguin pills. For settings, you've got alternatives configurator, customized look and feel. These are um, a lot of things that come with Lubuntu or LXDE type uh, distros, but there are lots of things that are unique to LXLE. So as you can see, everything is there that you need to get to set it up exactly the way you want it. Software, you've got uh, a check and install updates module. I'll come back to that in a minute. You've got GDebbie Lubuntu Software Center, Synaptic, and a PPA manager. And I want to come back to check and install updates. For utilities, BleachBit, BleachBit as root, uh, disk usage, gparted, htop, you've got system profiler and benchmark, USB image writer, and USB stick formatter. All installed out of the box. Now let's take a look at software. For check and install updates, this is pretty unique. It's UCARE System Core. Now, it gives five seconds to start, but as you can see, it goes through updating your system. Update packages, system libraries. It removes unneeded packages, removes old kernels, removed unused config files, and cleaned downloaded temporary packages. So it's really a an all-in-one maintenance package or program that you can run periodically and it will help keep your system clean and up to date. And as you can see LXLE the, the developers have uh, put a lot of thought into this and try to uh, configure it with a lot of uh, applications and utilities that the average Linux user might want or need. And that is about it. Now as you can see there are lots of uh, nice uh, wallpapers available and you can go into the random mode. It'll change periodically depending on how you set it up. Now if we go into the LXLE website and you click on LXLE 1604.2 now available. As you can see, and I, I don't have any affiliation with LXLE, but as you can see, they gave me a little bit of a shout out down here for helping squash, squash some bugs. 
um, during the development of this particular release, and I was happy to do it. I had been uh, I had been critical of LX LE in the past for not having uh, a functional driver manager and things that I felt that every distribution needs right off the bat and so I I was a bit critical in the past but I have to give them credit they came around they fixed the problems and now LX LE is a viable alternative to Windows and one more thing I should mention guys <clears throat> before I wrap up the video uh, if you plan to to give LX LE a try then I would suggest I'm gonna put a, a link to a couple of videos I've d I had done in the past uh, for tweaking your LXDE desktop. I'll put links to the videos but they're helpful because they will help you uh, just kind of fine-tune the LXDE desktop environment. For example, uh, if you want to open windows in the center of your screen, I'll show you how to do that in those videos. If you want to map your keyboard volume keys to the volume icon, I'll show you how to do that. So the the videos have a lot of tips and tweaks and tricks pertaining to the LXDE desktop environment that you might find useful and they would help you uh, transform your LX, LXLE installation just the way you want it to be. So these are tips and tricks and tweaks that are, are applicable to any distribution running the LXDE desktop environment. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.